Okay, on this problem you're asked to find the average rate of change. Um, so we remember that to be h of b minus h of a all over b minus a. So we might want to do a little bit of work here. h of b will be 4 pi over 3, h of 4 pi over 3, which is the sine of 4 pi over 3. And that's in, uh, 4 pi over 3 is in your third quadrant where the sign is negative, so that's negative um, square root of 3 over 2. And then h of 3 pi over 4 is in the second quadrant, and so that's positive square root of 2 over 2. All right, so h of b minus h of a is going to be negative square root of 3 over 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2 all over b minus a, which is 3 pi over 4 minus 4 pi, oh sorry, uh, 4 pi over 3, let me fix that, so b minus a, so 4 pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 4. Okay, so then it's just a little bit of, you know, fun cleaning this up a little bit. Let me see if I can get this to scroll down. Okay, so um, on this numerator here, you're going to have negative square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 all over 2. And in the denominator, you basically have 4 thirds minus 3 fourths with a pi on it. So 4 thirds in with a common denominator is, uh, multiply that by 4 over 4, that's 16 twelfths minus, multiply this by 3 over 3, 9 twelfths. 16 minus 9 is 7 pi over 12. And then when you have a fraction over a fraction, you're going to write it horizontally. So this is going to be negative square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 all over 2 times 12 over 7 pi. So we just flipped and multiplied there. And then the 2 will cancel with the 12 and it'll be 6. And so you get um, 6 onto that. All of that. And you might want to put the negative 6 out front, and then you can say square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. Because you want to do 6 times all of that over just 7 pi. Okay?